Don't take my word for it. Just go do the research. There's always a guy in that 20 to 30 range that you're going to look back and be like, damn. Sons did a good job with Tamani Kamara as far as evaluating what they did last year. That was a hell of a pick. So that's that's something to build on. Um, well, and maybe I, maybe you don't include him if you have a G League because you correct. know he's going to be able to develop them. Correct, correct. You know, if you look at that Warriors team that won their last championship, you saw the development of Jordan Poole on that team. Mm. Jordan Poole was a G League guy that was out there in that Golden State system doing a lot of stuff in the G League before he got that deal and had that year with Golden State. Where he's at now, that's a whole different story. <laughs> but um, there, there's reason to believe that this can work. And... I, I believe in this draft. I, I don't like the draft at the top, but I do believe, and you'll see this in every draft. Don't take my word for it. Just go do the research. There's always a guy in that 20 to 30 range that you're going to look back and be like, damn, how did that guy? Now, this is where the Suns have to hit. They have to be able to find that guy. It's not that difficult. You you, you got you, you got the 22nd pick. I value the hell out of this pick. And, and to Gerald's point, I, I'm I'm fascinated with the opportunity of potentially taking 22 and maybe something else and moving a little bit up into the draft, maybe mm-hmm. around that 15, right at the edge of the of the lottery, because I think the best player in this draft is going to come out of the top uh, after the top 10. I really do. Um, this is just a weird draft. Suns have a chance to get a pretty damn good player. There's some guys out there. So you you heard just got to hit first. it. Ronnie James, number 15 to the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it, look, I, there's a lot of opportunity. I think we all agree when it comes to uh, to young guys and using this as as a real way to find some talent and, and really make things better for this franchise long term. And I don't think there's any negative, uh, you know, when you look at adding this and trying to change the mindset of finding younger talent. Lou Dort was another name that was yeah. mentioned in the chat who went undrafted yeah. and had uh, an immense amount of success. So now you're kind of in in the game to try to find those guys and have a spot for you, them to you, learn. You don't find guys in the G League to uh, – or you won't, got, you won't find undrafted guys that, that have zero heart that will no. be a part of your franchise. Yeah. Like everybody that comes from the G League or has to fight – to survive, to yeah. get a spot. They're doing it because they got that dog in them. Like, there's plenty of guys. Lou Dortz, obviously. They're not doing it for the money. Yeah, Lou Dortz, one of them. I remember, um, uh, wait, what's his name from Pinnacle? Uh, Nico Mannion, when he came Nico out. Mannion. And I was just like, I don't think that's a good call, man, because, dude, if you don't make the roster, getting drafted 48th overall or 44th overall, like, you're going to the G League. And if you, if you go to the G League, I just didn't believe that he had the game to make it out. He made it out for a few games, and now he's not even – I don't even think he's in the G League anymore. He was playing for Milwaukee for a little bit, yeah. and now he's a part of Team, team Italy. But So it's like you got to be careful. you got to know what you're doing. These guys that you're researching, you can't be researching off a of name and talent uh, or uh, reputation. It's got to no, be you gotta legit go find things that you see, yeah. that you identify, that you know can contribute to your team. Real quick, there's a guy, Coleman Hawkins. Fighting a lion eye. I've, I watched him in the combine. I love this kid. He's probably going to go undrafted. He, he's going to be one of these kids that's probably going to go undrafted. And I'd be fascinated if the Suns use this G League opportunity to get an undrafted guy like that. The guy is big. He can play the, the three, the four, the five. He's got point guard-like skills. Unique traits that if you just throw him into that system and work with them, you can find something. So that's the stuff I want to see the Suns do more.